I wasn't really sure what it was. I'm gonna try it. Hi, welcome back. Today I am going to review something. This is a new product that I have never seen available in the store and you can get it all the time at your local Starbucks or your favorite barista usually has it on hand, but I'd never seen it that, that I could bring it home and use it with my own coffee. So you're probably wondering, what is she talking about? <laughs> coffee? Cream? Sugar? Nope. It is cold foam. Now, I have never ordered this because I wasn't really sure what it was. And so when I saw this at Aldi this week, I thought, you know what? It's like $4. I'm going to try it. So I thought it would be fun to show you what it looks like whenever you actually use it. But I want to compare it to whipped cream because I don't know about you, but I have used whipped cream on coffee before and I had never used the cold foam. So I thought, well, what's the difference? So we're going to compare them and I'm going to show you what they look like. Well, and then you can decide. I wanted to make sure I use the same amount of coffee in the same size vessel. And so I'm using these clear uh, little tiny coffee cups. They're, they're not quite a dimitas, but they're very small. And I wanted you to be able to see what the cold foam looks like and what the whipped cream looks like. So you can see that the cold foam comes out almost flat. It's, it, it seems like it's heavier, but I don't know if it's just made differently. There's not as much air in it, maybe, but it's definitely more foamy and not fluffy like the whipped cream. Now look at the whipped cream. The whipped cream is really fluffy like you would want to put on a piece of, you know, key lime pie or maybe hot chocolate. So this is an interesting right out of the uh, nozzle, if you will, that they are very different. Now, I noticed, and I noticed this when I showed it to you a few days ago from Aldi, that there are 45 calories in the cold foam, and there are only 15 calories in the whipped cream. And I buy the extra creamy whipped cream. I don't know if that makes any difference because you feel like you're getting a, a richer, fluffier whipped cream. I don't know why they add more sugar to the cold foam. I would really like it if it didn't have as many calories. Although I have to say that the fat calories are two in the cold foam and the carbs are seven and that comes from seven grams of sugar. And the whipped cream has one gram of carb and that's because it only has one gram of sugar in it. So if you really want a decadent treat, I think the cold foam is the way to go. It's still not an outrageous amount of sugar. It's not like having one of a frappuccino or something from Starbucks. Some of those drinks are really high in calorie. If you look at them, you, they even look different in the glass. Now, I wanted to show you what it looks like whenever you stir it up. The whipped cream immediately sort of dissolves and goes right down into the coffee. It's the same temperature for both of them. And the cold foam really stayed kind of foamy for quite a while. Even after I stirred it, you can see that it creates a secondary level, but it doesn't really dissolve down into the espresso. Again, it's a little different. I think if I had a big wide mouth mug, I probably could use the same amount that I'm showing you in this little tiny glass mug. Now for the taste test, the cold foam definitely was more delicious because it's got the sugar in it. And I don't like to have a lot of sugary things, but I have to tell you, it was really tasty. This would be really delicious on top of an iced coffee because it's very cold. And whipped cream has never cut it. When I've had an iced coffee and I add a little whipped cream, it, it doesn't cut it. So the taste really is better with the cold foam. It's 
it's not as sweet with the regular whipped cream. Again, there's only one gram of sugar. So yeah, no way is it gonna be as sweet. So if you're really looking for something decadent and rich, I would say the cold foam is the way to go. If you're really trying to watch it and keep your calories under control and your sugar content, than this. Now, I will say that Aldi has all types of sort of specialty whipped creams. And at Christmas time, I bought the peppermint whipped cream, and I used that for the hot chocolate that we made. The peppermint was delicious. And then I bought a salted caramel. It's not a cold foam. It's a whipped cream. Connie came over one day and I had her try it. She said, well, this is delicious. But it had a whipped cream consistency. It wasn't the flatter, uh, I'll say heavier, like the cold foam was. So this was the only one they had at Aldi. So I think if I really was getting into this, I would check and see if there was one that had, you know, just fewer grams of sugar in it. If you're really watching your sugar, then stay away from it. So thanks for joining me this week. I hope this has been interesting and informative. And if you're looking to upgrade your coffee experience, whether it's hot or iced, then I think this is something you'd want to look into, unless you're really watching your sugar. And then in that case, you know, you have to be careful of it. So, hey, if you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you join me. And if you are talking to someone and they say, hey, what's this cold foam? Then you can share my video and I'll tell them all about it. All right, I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.